Hi, I'm Susan Laurie Parks, and this is a verse monologue from my play Imperceptible Mutabilities in the Third Kingdom. I saw my first pictures of Africa on TV, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom, the 30-minute filler between Walt Disney's Wonderful World and the CBS Evening News. It was a wonderful world. Marlon Perkins and Jim and their African guides. I was a junior guide and had a life-size poster of Dr. Perkins sitting on a white Land Rover surrounded by wild things. It had me an 8x10 glossy of him too, signed on my nightstand. Got my nightstand from Sears because I had to have Marlon by my bed at night. Together we learned to differentiate African from Indian elephants, the importance of hyenas in the wild, funny looking trees on the slant. How do they stand up? Black folks with no clothes. Marlon loved and respected all the wild things. His guides took his English and turned it into the local lingo so that he could converse with the natives. Marlon even petted a rhino once. He tagged the animals and put them into zoos for their own protection. He encouraged us to be kind to animals through his shining example. Once there was a mean named Verona. I got mommy and dad to get me a black dog and I named it. I named it Namib after the African sands and swore to be nice to it. Only Namib refused to be trained and crapped in corners of our basement and got up on the sofa when we went out. And Namib wouldn't listen to me like Marlon's helpers listened to him. And Namib wouldn't look at me when I talked to him. And when I said something like sit, he wouldn't. And come made him go. And when I would tie him up in the front yard so that he would bite the postman when the postman came like a good dog would, he wouldn't even bark, just smile and wag his tail. So I would kick Namib when no one was looking because I was sure, I was very, very sure that Namib told lies about me behind my back. And Namib chewed through his rope one day and bit me and run off. I have this job. I work at a veterinarian hospital. I'm a euthanasia specialist. Someone brought a stray dog in one day and I entered black dog in the black book and let her scream and whine and wag her tail and talk about me behind my back. Then I offered her the humane alternative. Wiped her out. I stayed late that night so that I could cut her open because I just had to see, I just had to see the heart of such a disagreeable domesticated thing. But no, nothing different. Everything in its place. Do you know what that means? Everything in its place. That's all. <laughs>